when I was a kid I used to build uh, davits for uh, holding boats in place on uh, the canal in the water and you learn stuff that most people never get to see and here's, here's one of the weird things if you take a boom ten foot long right in the center of the boom the weight that you need to lift the boom with a 1,000 pound load will be exactly twice what the weight of the boom is holding. So right in the center we know it needs 2,000. Now if we know it needs 2,000 here, halfway between here and the pivot point we will know it's going to need 4,000. Halfway between the pivot point again it's going to require 8,000. Halfway to the pivot point again and you'll have 16,000. We know at one foot there's 10,000 uh, pounds of pressure from the 1,000 pound load. So instead of putting the piston right here, what they do is they put the piston out to here. And the reason why they do this is not because um, they're trying to save piston pressure. What they're saving is boom diameter. Because you can see out here the uh, from 10,000 it's going to be way below 8,000 and over 4,000 pounds of, of straight upward force is going to be required. But if you look at the angle that the piston has to push it may actually require more piston pressure to lift this boom than if you just went straight up here at 10,000 pounds of pressure. Here you might even require 11,000 pounds to lift this 1,000 pounds out here, but the boom can be small because you're reducing the um, the bending force on the boom. You're not, you're not trying to bend it back here at the 10,000 pound mark. Here now you're at somewhere maybe 6,000 and so you've you've definitely you almost half the strength you need of the boom so it doesn't bend right over this point that's the reason why they move the, the piston out there like that it's not it's not because they um, don't have the piston power to lift here it's just that they um, don't have the boom strength to lift back here but you're going to need a good sized piston